We've been here five years now at the Crown. I work completely alone here with no help. So it's a bit like being in um, a 1980s Lombard RAC rally. Uh, tense moments on Saturday nights, but you know, all the, all the fans walking around the fast cars. It's a bit like that, it's a bit hairy. Doing 20 covers and 15 covers for lunch. So we're not always full for lunch. Lunch is difficult, so we only open four lunches a week. Well, my family are looking after the front of house. So Deborah and I, we met very young. Nine children together, since we've been together all the years. And five of them run the front of house and they help me with the washing up on the busy service, but I look after my pots and pans because I don't want to burn the babies, so, yeah. Well, it's really demanding because the children obviously want to go out. They want to do other things. But you know, loyalty is everything in it. So you know, you, family comes first and we're very much like that as a family. Before I came here, I was in uh, private service and I kept going past the crowd and it kept winking at me and it genuinely did wink at me, it, it, it wanted me, it wanted my soul. And I just thought, oh, I do like you too. And um, I was in private service, a very good job. It took me all over the world, short notice. And um, I would have to um, be ready to consider their likes, their dislikes, and no way of raising my own personal profile, so it was down ego. There's a big learning curve in private service, but I just had to get back to little country pubs in the Chilterns, which I really, really, really like. I'm very happy here, yeah. You don't always have to listen to other people how to run a business all the time. Sometimes it's just your gut and your heart. And really, that's what takes me forward here at The Crown. This really is instinctive, and it has been from day one. I stood here with no customers on a Saturday night, and I've wished it busy, and I've willed it busy, and I've pretended it's busy the next day. I've come in and I've cleaned it all like it's been packed. I believed it was packed and eventually it's got busier and busier and busier because I had to have it busier. I can't fail here. I guess my food style here is um, French bourgeois cookery. It's underpinned by that. It's what is seated inside me. It's what's comfortable. I draw on French inspiration from the 50s and the 60s of the, the Grand Mers and writers at the time, American writers who sort of went down to the south of France and dwelled for a while, Richard Olney being a huge influence on my ideas of cooking. Doing another year is really how we measure our success here. Another year, more success. Another year, more success. So success is based on the longevity of how long I can stay here. I think what ultimately uh, drives success here is the satisfaction that when I'm cooking, you know, I can close my eyes some nights when I'm really in the thick of it and I can look deep into my open heart and I can look in there and I think, well, am I doing a good job? And if it's pretty honest when you look in there, you get to my age, and they, that feedback is all you need. So that's, the, you know, that's what I want from working here and cooking here. We're not really accolades, they're lovely, but not subconsciously. You know, we're not conscious of it not conscious of accolades, they've just seen a natural progression of things, of the, of the evolvement of the crown.